in not in those countries. Well, I had some things in those countries, but uh, a story I can tell you from yeah, another country. Yeah, history shows that we're going on a state which I generally find to be safe and friendly is Cameroon. Cameroon, I was unfortunate. I was traveling in the south of Cameroon, close to the border with Congo. And this was in the middle of the night. It was about 4 a.m. in the morning. I was inside a taxi together with the driver. We were on a dirt road in the jungle. There was nothing, just the taxi okay. and the Isha jungle. Taxi, drejt džunglës, bashkë me shoferin e taksis, po vëtonim në këto orë, në këto orë, në katër të mëgjesit, në rrugën, një rrug periferike pra mes džunglës, thot aji. Nuk kishtë asgjë. We were surrounded by dust that was coming from the road and the lights were going through the dust. Ishim të mbuluar, të rëthuar nga një pluhur i i fort i rrugës, i cili na kishtë mbuluar gjithë fushpamje në tregon aji. And then suddenly we see three shadows in the light and we stop the car and these are armed men and they are armed to the teeth, they are drunk out of their mind and they were fully upset. Dhe në ato moment, pam tre hijet e njerëzve dhe më pas kuptuam që ishen tre bura cilët ishen të armatosur, ishen hajdud të cilët ishen dhe të pirë edhe kishen edhe armë. Ata në drejtuan armët. And from the moment that they commanded us out of the vehicle and they saw that I was a foreigner, suddenly I had to carry the weight of all the colonialism within Africa. And that was a very, very unfortunate situation with armed, angry, drunk men. Shtë një situatë, thot, shumë e vështirë, sepse në ato moment, pasi ata në ndaluan, në kishë ndrituar dhe armën, ata në dëtyruan që të dalim nga makina, ishe një moment që përjetova gjithë situatën e kolonializë, e kolonive, po, kolonizimit më përparshëm, ku ndjeva gjitha të urejtjen edhe trazirat që kanë dodhur dhe atëherë në ato moment për plasi, sepse kishe përbalë të rëburat të pjerë të armatorë që të lidhëshin hajdut, që lidhën e kishë ndaluar në mes të gjunglës. And what happened yeah. next? So I have a short military career when I was younger and uh, I know what to look for in these situations. I know how to behave in these situations. The situation was very much out of control. They had the finger on the triggers. The situation was controlled. That time, Banin, Gishten, Tech, situation, I mean, the trigger. The Gilpur and Montafemix too. The Gadishmari, the Gadishmari, for the Juator. And Banin Gishten fixed the the Gadishmari for the Juator. There was a lot of emotion, which is unfortunate when you're dealing with people that are pointing guns at you. Shumë emocione, thot, zdo mos kur keni përbal njërë cilët i kanë armët për balte dhe kanë gishtin gati për të gjuajtur. So, that was the moment when you, like, reacted directly as a former army guy? Kështë të momenti që ti ragove si një djalë që të qenë pjesë e vushkrisë. And then you... Try to do the best you can not to escalate. Things, yeah, escalate. Or upset, uh, escalate. Uh -huh. In this case, I thought there was no situation I could leave uh, this scenario alive. I thought this was the last moment and that I would die within seconds or within really? minutes. So, I can do this in a few seconds, and I was able to do it in a few Would you say that this was like a really thin line between your life and your death? Një vje holë me së dhe dhekes. Absolutely. If I go back in this scenario 10 times, then maybe 9 times out of 10 I would not survive. Nëse bëjk të skenar vjetë herë për të prarë i këthehem në ko, në nëndë herë për i këtyrë do kisha vdekur dhe një herë do kisha shpëtuar. So let's go. So let me tell you, in the situation what I did was I stayed calm, I stayed humble, I stayed complacent, And at the end, 
I think this is what got me out of this situation. Dhe, but it wasn't a fast situation.